Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Thank you for coming today. I've had a lot of requests to read surahs, so I really would like to read a surah today and maybe talk about it a little bit. Last time I read surah 114 and 113. So I'm just going to open my small Quran and we're going to go to. Surah 112, Purity of Faith, very small, right here, okay. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, say, He is Allah, the one and only, Allah, the eternal, absolute. He begetteth not, nor he begotten and there is none like unto him. So what does that mean, brothers and sisters? That means that we accept and believe in the Lord of heaven, our creator, Allah, as the one and only God. So we focus on him. We're not swayed in other directions to think about other gods or idols or various concepts throughout science and things like that, right? We believe in our God, Allah. We listen to his word. We respect God. We do the best we can to do what he wants of us, right? Allah, the eternal absolute. What does that mean? It means the Lord of heaven is eternal. There's no beginning to him, no end to him. And he is absolute. He is the everything. He created everything. He controls everything. He is absolute. He begetteth not, nor he begotten. That means he was not born like a human being would be born. He is the God. He, he is the beginning and the end. He is creation. He created everything, right? Uh, and there is none like unto him. Exactly. So there is no comparison to God. There's no comparison to Allah. There just isn't. Uh, let's look at another surah. Let's look at, if I can turn the page with my gloves on. <laughs> okay, let's look at surah 111. The plated rope, al lahab, or the flame. Okay. This one right here. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, perish the hands of the father of flame, perish he. No profit to him from all his wealth and all his gains. Burnt soon will he be in a fire of blazing flame. His wife shall carry the crackling wood as fuel a twisted rope of palm leaf fiber around her own neck. Okay, so perish the hands of the father of flame. Perish he. I believe that means Satan, Shaitan, right? Perish him. Get him out of your life. Don't focus on evil, haram. Perish him to perish the fire. Because if you're following evil, you're following haram, you're doing bad, you're hurting other souls, you're being greedy, you're doing things that are wrong in the name of money and your own pockets, that's going to end you up in a bad place, right? No profit to him from all his wealth and all his gains. If you do your business in a bad way. If you lie, cheat, steal, deceive, uh, withhold information that is important to other people, if you 
uh, alter things for a profit that may may be bad for somebody or that they would want to know about or may harm them. Uh, pretty much saying that you're not going to profit from all of that. Uh, you may... It may feel like you are for a while in this physical world. You may even feel like you're profiting all the way until the end, but your life is just a tiny blip on the screen of eternity. And so if, if we're as beings, as God created us, eternal with him in eternity, and heaven has no beginning or end, it's eternal. God gave you this, <clears throat> excuse me, very short life in the physical world to test you as a being are you are you going to be the type of being that god wants to uh, accept you into his realm or are you going to be the type of being that god rejects out of his realm right right so basically this is what it's saying and it, it's also saying that your spouse, if your spouse is following your wicked ways, then they are going to head in the same direction as you. For per perhaps if they know about it and they're not speaking out, or they're supporting you when you're doing haram, right? Even though technically maybe they aren't the ones that are doing the crime against God and humanity and other souls that God created, uh, but if they're supporting it in that some way or they're hiding it from those people, then they're going to end up in the same place, right? Not in the realm of Jannah. God wouldn't accept them in the realm of Jannah if they do something like that. So they're going to head in the other direction, right? Into the fire. So basically that's what it's saying. If you have a different interpretation or you would like to discuss it or you have a comment, put it below. I would love to hear your comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that little button, so you don't miss any of my episodes and you don't miss any more of my sewers that I discuss. And uh, there's a little bell beside the subscribe, so click on that and it'll notify you every time I upload a new video, okay? And don't forget to check the description below because I'll have put some links in there to my social media, uh, places to buy things like this, um, these gloves and this uh, niqab and uh, also resources for new Muslims okay thank you for joining me today and I will see you next time